Here's the clutch master cylinder. That slave cylinder, I put it back on there. It just wasn't pumping any fluid down to the slave cylinder. So I pulled this master cylinder out. That was an easy job. Um, it just slides over a couple of studs. You take the nuts off from behind here and take the hydraulic line from here. And then inside the car, you've got to take this loose. There's a pin that goes through here. This just um, uh, saddles or straddles the clutch pedal. So you take a clip off, pull that pin out, and then the whole thing comes out of the car. I got it over here and took it apart. What it looks like to me is this back seal right here is pretty well shot. Um, it's not any bigger diameter than this piston right here. Front one may be working okay, but it just wasn't pumping any fluid. So if I had new rubber seals, I could probably repair this one. But I just went and found one at the local auto parts store. So I've got a brand new one that I'm going to stick in there. I've cleaned this surface off real good around the firewall here where the master cylinder goes in. And I also put some uh, corded weather stripping around here just like a sticky clay material. And then that'll make a seal around here so I won't get any water or fumes coming into the cockpit. And basically it just slides right onto those two studs right there, just like that. And then there's a couple of washers and nuts that go on these studs. I gotta go inside and make sure that that piece that engages with the clutch pedal did in fact engage with the clutch pedal. Okay, yes it did, so that's perfect. Now I'll get my washers and nuts on here. And I'll have to make some adjustment inside there um, after I get this bolted down tight. Okay. That's bolted down nice and tight. Got the hydraulic line, goes right in here. Okay, that's good. So that's all installed here. Now I gotta go underneath the dash and do the other part. So I've got to adjust this threaded rod and this bracket on the end of it until I can get my hole right here through the side of the clutch pedal to engage it. I decided to go ahead and replace the sleigh cylinder as well and I've got a new uh, hose, rubber hose that goes for it so the entire hydraulic system for the clutch will be all new. First thing I've got to do is take this hydraulic line loose from the rubber hose here and to do that the best way is use a wrench like this. You can see it's special made for um, hydraulic tubing and stuff. If you use a regular wrench, it's probably going to round off the ears of that fitting right there. So I've already broke that loose. And now I can just take a regular wrench and go up here and unscrew it. Here's this little clip that it just knocks in there, so you just gotta kinda wiggle it loose. Have to use some pliers or a screwdriver or something to get that loose. And then get your line completely loose up top here. And the new slay cylinder just goes back just like you took the old one off. Just like that. Now I've got to attach my hose back up to here. Here's my new brake line. One thing you need to be cautious about is they don't come with a new copper washer on this end. So you're going to have to pull the washer off of your old slave cylinder uh, and this hose, the old hose. And then this will just go This end will go right up here um, and attach to that hydraulic line. And this end will go right in here. 
and these go in here first. Tighten that down good. And this end will go up here. Just like that. Get this started. Once that's tight, I've got this little retaining clip that goes in there. Just slides like that. Tap it in place. And now we're ready to put some fluid in the master cylinder. Okay, to bleed it, you just gotta open this little bleed valve here. And I'm gonna just see if maybe gravity won't pull some of the fluid down. Okay, see that? Starting to dribble out now. Just what I wanted. And that may be all we need to do because this port is up on the top end of the slave cylinder, so Fluid comes down here and pushes any air out, and uh, we may be done. I'll go check the fluid level, and then push on the clutch, see how it feels. Clutch pedal feels okay just pushing on it. I'll know a little more when I take it out for a drive. That was a good first test drive. Engine ran pretty good. It kind of hesitates a little bit here and there, so it may need a little more fine tuning. The clutch pedal starts to engage just as it comes off the floor, so I need to make some more adjustments to that. The brakes went all the way to the floor. I had to pump them a few times to get brakes, and they pulled to the right, but nothing you wouldn't expect from a car that's been parked for five or six years or more.